If you've ever been inspired to start a podcast and you've been holding back, follow that inspiration. It's easier than ever now. Anchor has amazing tools for recording and editing right on your phone or computer. So go to Anchor app or anchor.fm to get started. It gets distributed across all the major platforms. It's easy breezy beautiful and you can totally do it in a very short amount of time. Follow that inspiration. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to the Joy Channel podcast, a podcast where we cultivate more love and joy in our lives through self-development and shifting perspectives. We talk to many people from around the world about ways in which they're bringing more love and joy into the universe and how we can cultivate all these things in ourselves and together. Welcome to season two. I'm so excited for all the magic that season two is bringing. Yeah. We have so many interviews lined up to talk to people about ways in which they're bringing forth more love and joy into the world and exciting companies and wellness practitioners of all sorts. So it's going to be really juicy and I'm just so excited. (laughs) Today, we're going to talk about embodiment. What does it mean to embody? What are you embodying? It's the first question. When I was meditating a couple months ago, the word that came to me for 2020 was embody. To me, that means embodying my highest self, embodying all the love and joy and creativity, bringing that forth into my being and walking those steps forward with that perspective and that knowing. Being aligned with love and clarity, listening to my intuition, making the decisions and taking the actions that align with that highest good and love. So this means listening to your yeses and nos and respecting that, placing those boundaries. When you honor your yeses and nos, your intuition gets so much stronger because when you feel something in your body, when you feel it and you know that it's a yes and you say no to it, or you know that something's a no when you say yes to it. You're confusing yourself, you're confusing the universe, you're confusing everyone with what your intentions are and what you actually want. Make sure that your actions are in alignment with what you say that you want, with what you know that you want. Knowing that you are already that person, you are already capable of making those decisions. It's just simply a matter of dropping whatever stories that you have that are holding you back from being that person. So maybe you think that by saying yes to things when you don't want to, it's because you're being kind to someone else. But when you say no, it allows them to find their yes, their yes that's actually in alignment. You're not helping anyone when you are acting from a misaligned vantage point. So get your handy dandy notebook when you feel called and journal about it. What does embodiment mean to you? What does it mean to be aligned with that higher self? What does this person think? What does this person feel? What does this person do? And know that you're already that person. You are already capable of doing and being and feeling and thinking all those things. It's simply a matter of keeping yourself on target with it, keeping yourself focused. And that's why we have our practice of meditating in the mornings and at night and whenever you feel called to recenter. That's why we focus on our breath to pull ourselves in and realign. That's why we listen to our joy and our love and our emotions and heed what they're telling us. But let's say you have a lot of fear coming up, a lot of anxiety. That's not something to be pushed away or bottled down. That's something that you get to look at. That's your guidance system letting you know that something's misaligned. And isn't that wonderful that our bodies do that? If you want to embody your highest self, listen to what your body is telling you right now. Are you holding tension in your shoulders? Are you breathing up and down instead of out? Are you really taking full breaths that fill your lungs to their capacity down to the diaphragm? Out, expanding the balloon of your lungs? Think of your embodied highest self. What is this self grateful for? Grateful for all the love, the joy, the alignment. Grateful for 
making the decisions that are ultimately for your highest good. If you're in a situation where you really want to do something, but you're afraid of what others will think, or you're afraid of hurting someone's feelings or something, ask yourself if you're being the best version of you by not being authentic, by not living your truth. Now, this truth with the highest self comes from love. So aligning with that and being clear that you're not aligning with fear. So the anxieties that'll come up around not doing what you want to do, that's the fear. And so we choose love again and again. And that's how we slide on in to the embodiment of our highest self. And it's a practice. It's a process. We get to make choices every day over and over again. If you chose something different, choose again. Choose again and again and again. That's our power in our choice. Who are you being with your choices? Is it in alignment with who you say you want to be? Does it feel good? How can you feel more good? How can you choose things that will have you feeling more love, feeling more joy? Let's do a little meditation for embodiment of highest self. Find a comfortable seat where you won't be disturbed, not distracted by anything, not driving. Close your eyes and take a deep breath, inhaling love and light into every cell of your being and exhaling, releasing anything you no longer wish to hold. Inhale love into every cell and exhale, releasing anything else. Inhaling love into your energy field, the entirety of your being, expansive and vast. And exhaling, releasing that love through the hearts of everyone in the world. When you're ready, repeat after me. I call in my highest self to operate in this world for the highest love. May each step I take be divinely guided. May I heed my intuition with ease and clarity. May the deep knowing in my being be profound. I am love. I am sure. I make the decisions that are aligned with the highest love for all. I bring forth more love and joy into the world through my choices. Visualize your crown chakra bright, beautiful, pale violet light opening and allowing the love from the universe to pour through you down through your third eye, through your face, your neck, your throat, down your shoulders, into your heart.
spreading through your arms and down your fingertips into your heart, your lungs. Breathing, expanding fully through the ribs, down through your abdomen, your spleen, your intestines, your liver, your kidneys, down to your waist, your pubic bone, your genitals, down into your legs, filling your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calves, hamstrings, your feet, your entire body filled with light and love. And say, I gratefully receive the love of the universe. I am grateful for the myriad of ways love appears in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath, inhaling. And exhaling, letting go. You are this love. And now, let's bring it to the world. When you feel called, open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful meditation. I'm so excited about the launch of season two. I'm so excited about all the wonderful things that are coming. You guys are going to be so excited. I'm so excited. (laughs) Um, Just thank you to everyone who is coming along on this joy journey with me. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure you do too. So thank you for your love and support. Let's share these episodes with whomever you feel could use more love and joy in their lives, which I personally feel is everyone. So if you want to share it with everyone you know, awesome. Talk about it. Post about it. Share our posts. Share our blog posts. If you haven't been by the website, thejoychannel.org, there's a bunch of posts on the blog now. I've been posting there while I've been on hiatus. And I'm going to continue posting on there. and. My art is also up on the website. I have prints available on Etsy of different intuitive, beautiful pieces that I've done. And I have originals available as well. Additionally, I am offering intuitive mentorship. So if you feel that you would like to work with me and learn to align with your love and joy and learn deeper ways of heeding your intuition, go to my website and fill out a form and I will contact you and we'll set something up. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really beautiful. I have absolutely loved and enjoyed learning about myself through self-development and shifting my perspectives on things to realize that even if something isn't appearing super great, It's for my highest good and it's shifting me to where I can apply the highest love and highest good. So thank you all for your love and support. Have an absolutely beautiful day. So much love. Bye now.